Hello everybody, welcome back to Dicing with Death, where I ask Ryan questions right before we go live so he can't answer. <laughs> Here you stand, Qualnir, naked, splattered in blood, surrounded by the fallen bodies of your foes. Yes. Short sword in one hand, mm -hmm. blood drinking dagger in the other, mm -hmm. and not a not a scrap of cloth on you. Uh, you're standing in this dwarven great hall. Mm-hmm. So I want to, someone's going to find Granite's body and the uh, Goldsmiths Union, they're going to, they're going to see what's going on here. So I want to send them a message because eventually they're going to find out about all of this stuff. Um, and I want to leave a little, I'm not, I haven't really thought too closely about what I want to say or do or what sort of message I want to send, but I think it's going to be. I need to let them know that I'm playing the same game as they are and that I've just taken their territory. I don't think, I don't think anyone is playing your game, Qualnir. Maybe not. What are you? Well, I'm going to remove you... Granite's eyes, ears, and tongue. Okay. I was going to ask what you're thinking, where your head's at, but I guess that's a clear enough gesture. See so new evil, s hear new evil, speak new evil. I'm going to remove those organs from him and they'll be able to tell the people nothing. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. uh, you slurp up another one HP worth of life in this process. Mm -hmm. One HP worth of blood. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything with these uh I don't know what to tokens? do with them. Should I leave them on his body? Should I, like, leave them just near it? Should I specifically, like, take them and get rid of them somehow so, like, no one knows where his eyes, ears, and tongue went? Like, I don't know what is the more... I don't know what message I'm sending here. Um, I guess I'll just, like, leave them nearby on the ground, or... I don't know. Is there a trash can in the room? Can I put them in the trash? There's a chamber pot. I'll put them in the... Oh, <laughs> that's a little crass. I don't mean to put them... Is it a full chamber pot? Like, if I put it in there, will it kind of, like, sink below the surface and not be seen? I think it's been cleaned. It's empty. I think it's an empty chamber pot. It's been cleaned and hasn't been used since its cleaning. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm unless going to, like, you, lift you the dresser. In, no, did I'm Quan lift... take a piss in here earlier tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> While you were waiting around in the room for a couple of hours? I don't okay. know. Is, like, oil of eth etherealness, like, caffeine? And really a makes diuretic. Me yeah. No. Uh, I'm going to lift the... the um, dresser a little bit and just kind of sweep them under the dresser and then lower the dresser down on top of them. Okay. You... <laughs> so that way they're hidden out of view, but you know, whatever. Then I'm okay. going to take the sheet on Granite's bed, uh, find the middle of it and like cut a hole in it and put it over me so I have like a sheet poncho. So that way when I leave, I'm not just walking through the streets naked. Okay, so you're wearing a bed sheet. I'm going to wear a bed sheet. Um, but and if it you cut a hole in it, is that what you said? Well, yeah, so that way I can like wear okay. it over me. Or All maybe right. I should toga um, it up. Can I can I make a clothing a fashion proficiency check to fashion a toga from a bed sheet? Yeah, make a dex check at minus five. Toga assembled. Yeah, I, so I think you stop before cutting the bed sheet, and you manage to fold it in such a way that it covers you. Nice. Are you trying to cover your head as well? No, I'm just trying to not walk through the city streets naked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It actually it's a it's a nice crimson bed sheet. It's fashionable. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Excellent. It's actually, it actually looks like a bit yeah, winds up looking like a like a toga, which I think is kind of in fashion in Solstice these days. So uh Hopefully. you're good to go. Uh then I would I would like to loot everything. There's Granite's okay. room, and there's the treasure chamber. I thought I already um, told you what was in Granite's room. And if you didn't write it down, I mean, I guess it's still here, but I can't remember what it was. Well, I think I didn't write it down because I hadn't taken it yet, and I don't want to add but things it, it to my was sheet. Meant to, it was clear that there was a larger treasure hoard. Right, which I saw um, earlier while I was clipping through walls. Yeah. And I don't remember where I described it being earlier. I feel I fairly think... strongly that it was this room. 
Yeah. I think okay. this is it. They were both these are both meant to be uh bed chambers. But I, get, I think maybe, maybe this one is this re- re- It was one of the ones no, on the this right is out side. In the, this is out in the warehouse out here. Okay. That's like then out on the docks. And it's got to be this one. I don't... I'm thinking it was in this wall here, unless someone... I clipped through this wall, and there was like a hallway that went this way. Yeah. Was there also something right in here? I The treasure wasn't... Whoops, sorry. Um, the... Treasure, no, I think these were both bedrooms for like, uh, this was a barracks. And then this is like the, the, I don't know, officers, what, what it, I don't know. It's not a, these aren't soldiers, they're, they're gangsters or whatever, but higher, mm-hmm. higher ranking thugs. I don't know, tell mm-hmm. me, tell me Mr. Mafia, what is, uh, what's underneath the dawn? Nothing, there's just a, uh, there's just uh, the. I wouldn't know. I've else. never been part of any organized crime family. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh, I'm look- so I can look. Um, you can eventually. Because I can't remember. I mean, if I because I can't remember where it was. I'll just I'll just pretend. Yeah, you you your elf eyes spot. I think what it is is a it's a a hidden door underneath like granite's table here, mm-hmm. in the hall. Mm-hmm. If you like shove the table out of the way, you can like lift up a lift up a trap door and then built into like this section here. Wonderful is a vault with the with the uh, <sighs> with the Good sum Lord. total of the wealth. I think we're just gonna drop what or lump in whatever small change was in Granite's room. If sure. I. If anyone, if there was like a, if there were potions in there or something, I don't think there was. These are dwarves. Mm, they would not know. I think, know. It, was I think it was just coinage and maybe some gems or something. Yeah, it was. And, it was pure value. Yeah, so maybe a couple, maybe tens of thousands of copper, <laughs> a couple hundred platinum worth of, uh, worth of wealth. But, but no, in what not, form is the wealth? No, no, I mean in the in his bedchamber. Right, like spending cash. Let me give me a couple of seconds to table that up for you. Of course, of course. Um, and then after you loot the treasure, are you just gonna split, or are you gonna hang around the scene of the crime for a little while? Oh no, I'm gonna grab the treasure. I'm gonna fucking get the hell you, out of here. And how are you gonna get it out? Well, like, that's so what I, at the that's very why I'm least... trying to figure out how much is here, so I know if I need oh. to like drag a chest or if I can just pocket. Like what? How is the? What's it look like? Like you're going to be dragging a chest through the streets if you want to take it all, or you can just pocket gems and high value items. We'll see what form it takes. Um, Talking. Okay. Let me get my percentiles. Actually, You find an empty vault. There's still the uh, the small change that you can gather, but yeah. So you find you look, you spot the secret door, shove the table out of the way, open it, walk down a flight of stairs, um, and there's just like an empty treasure chamber. There's maybe like a few odd coins strewn about, as if this. Was, I mean, it's obvious that this was once the treasury, but it is it is bare. Either granite was going through some hard times, or some or there's something else. Let me see. I Didn't I check it earlier when I was clipping through walls and didn't I see that there was treasure in here? I don't I, I don't know what to tell you. I, that was before I rolled on the... Oh rolled. my God. Um, there's still a substantial bit of wealth in... Um, so what's your reaction to, to seeing this? 
so disappointment. I, I mean, so I wasn't a, here for the wealth, but... So but there's we, a chest in Granite's room that ha I'll re-roll what was in there. If, if you want to jot this down, like, do you want to take this chest with you? There's... Yeah. What do you got for me? Uh... So we have... 40 platinum and 8 gold. And I, I, th I thought I rolled for the value of these gems, too. Maybe not. Uh, you can, there's four, four gems. And you could probably pill for the place for, like, uh, finery, objects of art. Uh, so the, those coins, yeah, four and four gems are in granites uh, in that chest. Did you drag that with you, or do you go back for it once I you find the treasury I'll empty? I'll go back to it and just add that to my existing supply. Mm-hmm. Uh, the art objects would take work. I mean, that require, will require you, like, appraising paintings and tapestries or sculptures, trying to figure sure. out what the... Yeah. Um, do you loot individual dwarves? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bummed. So yeah. I'm going to go through so and take you, a little bit more time to, like, loot individual dwarves and then go to the barracks and yeah, loot their so you, stuff. I, I think you immediately find, on one of the dwarves in plate mail, like, sort of mm -hmm. back here in Granite's room, you find a pouch containing four gemstones in it. Those are in addition to the four that I found in Granite's yeah. room? Okay. Yeah. Uh, are they the same type of gemstone or different types? Um, are you stopping to, if you roll an appraisal check, you can... You I, I can, just want to know if I should be tracking answer. them separately or not separately. I want to appraise them later. We'll but... deal with it all at okay. the end, I think. So I'll just put them um, as two different groups. But sure. Well, there, so how, so what is, what is your, be, what is your behavior after this fact? Or what, what are you, what are you thinking? So the... All right, so I grab the, the platinum, the gold, and the four gems from the chest and the four gems from the dwarf. I want to quickly check the other guy in plate mail. Um, yeah. Find another two gemstones. Again, okay. a small pouch. He doesn't carry any cash, but he carries gems. That's fine. Then I'm going to go and check the um, barracks. Okay, uh, you will find two barracks. The one on the left has, like, four beds. The mm -hmm. one on the right is, like, a barracks, so it has, like, dozens of bunks. Excellent. Um, I, I look for any personal values, like little foot lockers, uh, closets, wardrobes. How long would you dressers. like to spend? And are, I'll spend and are you... uh, 120 seconds in each room. That's nothing. Uh, no, nope. it's just like a quick open roll, everything. Roll two d twenty. Sure, and I will ransack the shit. Out. Like I'll just take a drawer and dump two, it on the okay. ground, and then okay. move on. Okay, so one. ransack, not hard not ransack. Three, yeah. Just like throw everything. So it's everywhere. mostly clothes and armor and yeah, um, yeah. You don't. Im yeah, you. So you ransack the place. You spend the next mm -hmm. five minutes going from room to room turning it up and down. You find nothing of additional value. All right, then I'm done. Beyond the gems I've given you. Um, I, I, I came here, I've done what I came here to do. The money is all extra. It's the cherry on top, so I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess the things that I have found, I'll need to like find a bag or maybe I'll just like take one of the shirts that I'm they were, ransacking. They and, were like, in, there's a chest. Oh, Granite's no, there's Wealth a was in a chest. Granite's Wealth was in a, was in a small chest. Mm -hmm. Um, you can put, put, you can fit it all in a sack. If you, I'll, if I'll fit it all for. in a sack or a purse, or a, I'll just like take a shirt and put it in there and fold it up, or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I'll find some cloth and then I'll just walk out on out into the night. Okay, so you walk back through this warehouse, mm -hmm. which actually, as you're walking through, you pause to think there may be wealth in this warehouse, but uh, you're like sort. It's mostly, um, I mean, it's boxes labeled in sh dwarven shorthand yeah so it's but yeah and, this and is the this is the warehouse of a dwarven uh, crime family right so there's there's undoubtedly valuables right uh but here, i but, am more concerned about escaping alive at this point and i yeah i have ways to make wealth 
this is mm -hmm. more of like a clear my enemies out of town mission. Mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't go mm -hmm. as subtly as I was hoping. So I'm just gonna, I'll get out now and I'll just make more money in a different way later. Okay. That's, that's uh, my thinking. Roll a charisma check. Uh, 19. Uh, let's go back to the solstice map. What, why don't we? So you step out of this dockside warehouse into the ocean quarter. Let's clear all this. Uh, can you grab your Qualnir token? Or actually, I can move it for you. Clear all that. All right. Um, I'm not going to bother with rabble tokens for now, but uh, actually. Why don't I? But you can describe how you're going to get out of this. Uh, well, so you step time. out into the ocean quarter, but there is a crowd gathered. You failed to, well, I guess that was a charisma. Roll a perception check. 11. Yeah, even worse. You, so you step out of the warehouse to eyes upon you, right? There's a small crowd gathered around to see what the hell's going on. Um, yeah. And it's it's a dock, so there's sailors here twenty four seven. Okay. So uh, yeah, there's a yeah, a bunch of uh, awestruck faces looking at you as you emerge, weapons well, in hand. <laughs> uh, I will keep walking, and then I will take that pouch that I have, and I'll just reach in and grab a handful of coins. I know there's forty plat and eight gold in there, and then I'll just throw the coins into the air <laughs> above the crowd. <laughs> They, uh, and then just walk on through it. They land with a clang. I mean, this um, is gold and platinum on the ground here. No one touches the coins. Or roll, roll one more charisma check. I'll, the coins 22? change. Twenty-two. No, no. They le leave the coins. Uh, they step out of your way, more at the sight of weapons. Um. No one makes eye contact, uh, and you... I'll, all right, so as yeah, I where they you, make where way start... for me, and mm -hmm. I start stepping through the crowd, I'm like the only elf in town. This is pretty obvious what's going on here. I'll just take one coin from the bag, and not even looking at what it is, and turn to one of the people that stepped out of the way and hold it up in front of him and say, take this. Um. You don't get like so you go to try to make eye contact with someone and they like avoid your gate they back away like they they go yeah they they leave <laughs> do you chase them down or something no no no, no throw no. the coin at them no uh, if the person's going to yeah, re you, refuse eye contact like and you back can't away, pay, you like go to pick a person and like you like scan for someone to like hand the coin to and mm -hmm. people yeah turn turn from you and uh, okay. Well, then I'll just flip the coin into the air towards, you know, the crowd in general and just walk Where was on your home. sword? So you had both weapons in one hand as you were flipping these coins around? I think you didn't... I think I, I, I was I was walking. I had my short sword in one hand and my dagger in the other. And they're underneath my poncho, probably, because my poncho drapes down. But you down. don't have a belt or your sheath. No, so then, like, my bag must be in the same hand as my dagger. So this whole process has probably been, like move the bag and the dagger and like awkwardly hold a sword and a dagger in one hand. It must've been really weird. And it's all under my poncho. So it must look like just this like flurry of moving things with like sword tips poking out and then money is flying everywhere. It's gotta mm -hmm. look really weird. Yeah, which, where are you headed? Oh, I'm headed home. Plot a course for me. I'm this is my thinking. I want to rule this town. I'm the only real elf that lives here. If these people, like, I'm, I'm clearly spotted. There's, I don't think there's any way I could hide. If people are going to turn me in, they're going to turn me in. And, like, I'm, I'm clearly the only... It's too late. My cover is blown. Either these people are going to turn me in and I'm just going to have to face the consequences or they're going to pretend they never saw me and it's all going to be fine. But either way, I think they know who I am. 
So I'm just gonna walk home because I don't think there's any way I could fool them into thinking it's not me or give some sort of plausible deniability. Like, the jig do is you, up. I'm just gonna head home. Do you hide at a certain point or you just, you just walk of shame the whole way there in plain uh, sight? Proudly, walk proudly back home. I don't think there is any hiding. It's nighttime, uh -huh. so I'm hoping that once I get a certain distance away, it'll just kind of like fade into the background. But like, I, I don't, I can't think of any escape route. I mean, I could maybe jump into the water and swim up the coast, but then how are you gonna swim holding a short sword and a dagger? And I'm certainly not gonna drop them in the water. You know? Well. Uh, none of the sailors accost you as you walk through the ocean quarter. Um, and you don't bump into any knights on the way back. So I think you can walk of shame it the whole way back. Pride. But you are certainly, there are, th there are thousands of witnesses. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm not super thrilled about that. Okay. God, what are all these people doing around in the middle of the night? I guess they're <laughs> sailors, but... Oh, well. I guess this is a warehouse in a crowded city. I suppose. <laughs> oh, well. The deed all is right. done. I've been seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you make it back home. Mm-hmm. Middle of the night, uh, Michelle. I think waiting up for you. I'll s switch into my reg oh regular clothes. I should well, figure I mean, out you've... how much money I threw away. Uh, all all of the coins. So you've got, and even probably a few gems, right? Like I mean, you I just throw a handful of coins and then plus one. A handful is most of them. I mean, there were forty-eight. Yeah, so it might be okay. So you have you have nine platinum. Holy shit. Uh, two gold. And you lost one of the gems as well. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. Sure. You say two gold? Yeah. Okay. And I lost one of the gems. Okay. So uh, Michelle is, uh, yeah, she's waiting up for you. You like walk in the door. Mm -hmm. Did you, I think you have to knock, right? You didn't bring your keys with you. No, I didn't, I guess. I go up and. And there's like a few minutes you're like, Michelle, Michelle. Let <laughs> and me And she in. comes to the door. Uh, she was expecting you, but right? I think she probably locked, yeah. her, locked the door out of fear. Yeah. And lets you in. Uh, what I'll happened? go in. What are you oh, wearing? A toga. Of course. You're, you're covered in blood. I'm, that's why the red toga to hide the blood. Um, but don't Shakes worry about it. I will go put my money with the rest of my money, put on some real clothes, uh, have Michelle help like think, wash my wounds and like kind of. I don't patch think you get that visibly. far. You like oh, start fuck. to put. You like put on your other clothes. Well, you. Probably go to wash first. Mm -hmm. I think as you're washing, and how, how much of the story are you relating to Michelle? Nothing yet. Zero. Okay, I think if you're giving her the silent treatment, she will not assist in the washing. Uh, there's a knock, however, at your door, like during this cleanup process. <sighs> An authoritative knock. All right. Qualnir? I will uh, still naked. Well, no, um, yeah, I'll throw on a, I'll throw something on real quickly, a shirt or another, I'll put my toga back on, whatever's nearby that I can dress myself in, and can, I will go answer the yeah. door. Oh, okay. All right, uh, you open the door to several nights of solstice, uh, and the sun blade. Good evening, gentlemen. Qualnir, what the hell is this? My home? There's... He, like, 
I don't know, his helm looks square at you. I can't have this in my town. What what happened? Tell me. Do I need does, did you need my help? <laughs> There's blood on the docks, Quilnir. This is my god, this has did those dwarves finally get themselves into too much trouble? Did you he search their warehouse? Did you see all of the ill-gotten illegal goods that they had everywhere? My god. <laughs> It's almost like someone cleaned up all of the crime in the city for you, so you didn't have to do it yourself. Well, don't worry, we'll put this vigilante down. You just tell me where they are. What are we gonna uh, do in a crime-free city? Head, You're not gonna have a job anymore. <laughs> his head like turns to the the two knights on either side of him. Like his helm turns. Then he looks back. He said, "Yeah." Whispers an elven to them. You know, like wait here and he he invites himself into your house i unless you like stop him or whatever. i i don't stop like, him if it's just him here let me let's have a seat i lead him into the parlor and uh pour both him and i a, he, a stiff drink he takes off his sandstone helm and shedding daylight now in your in your uh mm. <laughs> in your kitchen it's a little oh, yeah, I guess that, that I guess that uh, would have uh, that reaction probably would have happened as soon as he opened the door. Sure. So when he takes off his helm, I'll like put a blanket yeah, over it, it or something to just kind of like dim the lights a little. Sure. Ah. Uh, so uh, the Sunblade uh, sort of sighs and runs back his long sandy hair. Tucks behind, tucked behind pointed ears. Mm -hmm. So that's out of it, yeah. Sunblade. What? Are you really here about a couple of dead dwarves? What then? What the hell do you think that you can murder in plain sight and? Well, I'm trying to figure out Walk away. what your purpose is here. Are you really here to clean up the city and enforce law and order, or... I mean, what really, Sunblade, what are your goals? Because if it's to keep the town in, in tip-top shape and clear it of disorder and chaos and thieves and murderers, then I've just done you a huge favor. Yeah, is it the he, evil you know better eyes. than the evil you don't know? Or the devil you know better than the devil you don't know? I see right through you. Or is My it, oh mighty Sunblade, that you were uh, on the take from these dwarves and you're just unhappy that your revenue stream has been cut off? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why you're upset that all of the criminals and murderers in your town are missing. How dare you? So he, I think he, him, he interrupts that last line. With the, with the, how dare you? I've just got the got the cam delay here, or whatever mm -hmm. the audio delay. Yeah. Um, let me pull up a sheet for a second. Um, where are my character sheets even? Um, I can't remember where uh, where those would be, so I'm just gonna have to go off memory. Um, roll, a, did you roll a roll a perception? Actually, roll, yeah, roll a perception check first of all. Where's Michelle during this? Uh, I think Michelle was, uh, you know, asking me questions and I wasn't answering them because I was washing yeah, and they so came up she... knock on the door. So she's probably around, but like not around. You know, she's like in the next room probably passive aggressively not paying attention and listening to everything that's being said. Mm hmm Michelle and Qualnir are both fairly moody characters, I feel. I feel mm -hmm. like they're both like liable to just be really passive aggressive when they don't get what they want. Yeah, that's probably so why they the... work so well together. Yeah, so you're in the front. Um, 
or where would you have taken? I would have taken him to our parlor because we've got that that room that's just for you know hanging out. Do we not have Kolnir's house on a map? Well, that's where I am right now. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let me refresh real quick. Ah, excellent. Yeah, so we're in the parlor. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's casting a spell. Um, you notice him. So, like, he, he interrupted you and said, interrupted you. I was like, how dare you? And then he like trails off in a, an arcane tongue. I think you were speaking in Elven, right? Was that is that com probably comfortable for the two of you or were you speaking oh, yeah. in common? If he like if he'll speak in Elven with me, I'll definitely use my native tongue around him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he, gonna cast a spell and I He's, he's armor, got a like he's got plate mail on or something. Yeah. I should let's yeah, yes he is. Right, well, I'll uh, not not full plate. I think it's like I don't know. It's something light, but metal, like a light male. I can't remember exactly. Actually, no, he might be fully unarmored. Yeah, he's unarmored. Oh, I remember. He's yeah, okay. So he's unarmored. He's got a he's got a set of pauldrons or whatever. Okay. Uh, I will, that are more I'll, ornamental, and the helmet, but the helmet's been removed. I will um, uh, just sit back and let him cast his spell. We have this weird relationship, the Sunblade and I. And I, where, I'm just gonna trust is, him for now. Where is Qualmir? He's in his parlor. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna replace. Dwarf. I don't know if I can find a sadder dwarf, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. How dare you? <laughs> Saving throw versus spell, I believe. Oh. Unless. You... Uh, an eight is not going to pass. No, that's a yeah. failure. Yeah, you are held. Well, he's got me. He's got you. This might be the end. Just... Can you speak while you're held? My spell sheet is not loading. I don't think so. I think I held think is paralyzed. Yeah. Um, I was considering stopping his spell or not killing him, but like holding a knife to his roll throat or something. For but... Roll the save for Michelle as well, actually. Uh... Can I move or speak, but they remain aware of the events around them? Ooh, no. Michelle fails Yeah, so I think too. Michelle is held as well. Okay. You watch your tongue, Quilnir. Oh, wait. And he, like, looks at your blank face. Sort of. There is a truth to your slithering words, but I cannot just let... Let, let there be no uh, response to this bloodshed. This is a slight against me as well. And no, I am not in league with uh, your dwarf friends. Hell, I thought you were, oh, I don't even know. He stands up. Tell, what, am, what am I supposed to do with you? And I think he paces and thinks. Um, do you have your weapons on you even? Uh, I was cleaning, so they're probably in the next room. I don't know where I was cleaning up, but 
wherever there's a... Maybe I was in the kitchen. My swords and weapons are probably in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. He picks his, uh, his helmet up off the table. And puts it back on. Mumbling to himself in Elven. Um... And roll a d20. Ten. I'll call it ten a pass on a on a death save, right? That's we 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 lower the easy mode. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. He turns and leaves, uh, you, leaving you still paralyzed uh, in the room for another few minutes. And eventually you come to. I'm alive. Michelle, we're alive. Well, if that isn't carte blanche to do whatever we want in this town, I don't know what is. Uh, I guess I'll go and shut the front door, finish cleaning up. Um... I've already been attacked by dwarves once tonight, and then we went and killed a bunch of dwarves tonight, so there's been a lot of dwarven bloodshed today. Um... Well... I look at Michelle. I think we've sort of got what we wanted here. I think we finally removed granite from all of this nonsense. I guess this town's kind of ours. Uh, you really think that uh, he's not going to do anything? Hey. I shrug. I think the Sunblade knows that I have my boundaries and my borders and that we can perhaps cohabitate him as the ruler of the overworld, me as the ruler of the underworld, and we can probably form a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship where I clean up the trash uh, as long as I don't ruffle his feathers too much. He looked and... pretty ruffled. Oh, well, I mean, he let us live. We're not in jail. I say this is a victory, Michelle. We should bust out the good champagne. And um, let's get Umbop. Uh, oh, no. I was going to say we should go for couples massages, but I don't think Umbop can do us both at the same time. And <laughs> what's his name? Master Bates, I think, is still out of town with the carriage. And I guess it is two or three four in the morning. Maybe a couple massages aren't the right... Maybe that's not what we're supposed to be doing right now. Well, let's go to bed. Uh, in the morning, whenever it is, we'll 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 sort all this out. And, um... Well, we've got some new targets for you to work on, and we will get rich together. Not that we're not already rich. Hmm. <clears throat> well, then. I guess we'll uh, fade to black on this night, at least. Yeah. Uh, the knights don't come back. In fact, I think you probably don't see the Sunblade for a little while. Qualnir, with his four wisdom, is probably just assuming that he's off scot-free. Yeah. But yeah. out of character, you're, uh, you're out of favors. You saved his life, and he managed to spare yours, but... Uh, are you saying that I'm we'll see dicing with death time. here? Uh, are, are we done for the day, Ryan? Oh, no, I, don't, I mean, I don't think so, but we can, oh, okay, uh, good, good. we can, like, the, the pressure's well, over for now, right? Yeah. 
uh, why don't we take a break? And when we come back, yeah. we will see what is up. See you guys soon.